Hello there and welcome to the Clip Dramatizer demo video. So when you first load up the software here, we have two different project types. We have the easy video editing and then we have a more advanced if you want more controls and more editing options. I'm going to go ahead and jump into the wizard here for the easy to get started and show you exactly what it looks like and how it works. Now the first thing we want to do is add either an image or a video. Now the software works great for both of them. So for the main video or image, and we also have a transparent foreground that we can use. So I'm going to get started with an image for now. So I'm going to click here to upload my image. And what I have selected is just a sample logo that I want to add some effects to it. Now we can also add some audio if we wanted to. And just below this, we have some blur options where we can add a blur to our layers. Now, I'm not going to add any blurs to my logo, so I'm going to go ahead and click on Next. And when I do that, we now have all these different effects that we can use and choose from. So we have a bunch of different animated effects, and we have some static effects that you see here. So let's try the 3D computer, for example. Next, we're going to click the Is Enabled option there. Then we're going to click on play and you can see exactly what that looks like. So I can turn this off. I can select a 3D shield for example, enable it, click on play and see how that looks with my logo. And of course we can enable more than one. We can do the 3D shield and the 3D computer and play that and see how that looks. So as you can see we have a bunch of different ones to choose from. We have snow for example. We can see the snow falling down and you just scroll down here and we have a ton of different effects that we can easily add to an image or even a video that we have so this one here drawing paper for example looks pretty cool right pretty cool stuff that we can add to our projects that we're working on and if I show you some of these static ones let's go ahead and do this one here a distort enable it click on play and we can see what that looks like now each one that you select, you're going to notice on the right hand side, if I go back to my animated and I click on this one for example, underneath each one you're going to notice we have options to further edit that effect. So if I select iVision 1 and click on play, we can see what that looks like right now. But now if I change these around, add that one up and bring this down for example and bring this up, click on play, you can see it looks a lot different than it previously did. So each option and each effect has its own set of options beneath that we can customize even further. Now once you have something that you like and you want to export it and save it, say I want to work with this one for example, I'm going to click on next. And to actually render our video, I can choose the frame rates, the video resolution, if this is going to be a transparent video or not, give it a video name, and then I can click on render video and save it to my computer. Now that's the basic wizard demo. I'm going to click on to advance at the very top here and switch to the advanced mode. And as you can see, we have our same options here on the far left hand side. But for the advanced mode here on the far right hand side, we have a bunch more options to fully customize the project that we're working on. So I click on play. We have the same filters selected, but now I can move around my images, my videos, and all those extra settings that we didn't have inside of the basic wizard. Now what I'm going to do is I jump back to the basic wizard and now I uploaded a video to show you how the videos look. And I can play this video right here and we can watch it, see what it looks like. Down here at the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and click on next and that's going to bring up our effects again. So we have, for example, this 3D shield and as my video is playing, we can see exactly what that's looking like, okay? We have our 3D mist, and as you can see, it adds a lot of cool effects to our video to really spice it up and make it 100% unique. Got this cool one right here I like is the blood on the screen. I think that one's pretty cool. And at the top here, I'm gonna switch over to the static and show you, again, we have a ton of these we can choose from. I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom here. Let's go back up a little bit. And if I select this one, for example, you know, we can see exactly what that looks like. So let's go ahead and turn these off for now. I'm going to head back to the animated, for example. And I'm actually going to go ahead and click on the switch to advanced here to show you with our video, it's still the same. We still have our animated options and static options on the far left that we can select like that there. 
And then on the right hand side, once again, we can move our video around. So if I adjust the video here, as you can see, it changes how it looks inside of our preview. So we can adjust that and we can, we can offset it, completely move it around. And we can do the same thing with the images, just like we're doing with the video here. And if I wanted to select one of these, this one for example, and I wanted to adjust these settings, at the very top hand right, I can click on Effect Settings, and I can change those here. We can turn the speed up, the intensity up, and so forth. All right, so here we are back on the main screen, and I want to talk to you about and show you one more thing before we finish this video, and that's going to be your overlays. Now, I showed you all the different animated effects that you can add to your video or your images, and now I want to show you the transparent overlays. So just underneath the main video option that we have here, I currently have my video uploaded, we can choose a transparent foreground. And that can be an image or a video. So I'm going to click on video and upload a transparent video that I have. And once that uploads, you can see it says, do I want to set that video as my foreground? So I'm going to click on yes. And once I do that, you can see that we have this transparent animation playing on top of my video. Now this can be used for anything, images and videos. You can have transparent arrows pointing down, uh, things like this here, raindrops coming down the screen, pretty much anything you can think of. This just allows you to add that extra overlay to really spice up your content. So once we have that uploaded, we can click on next. And of course we can add our different options here, just like we could originally. So we can come through here, we can see what these look like. And everything that you select here is still going to be applied to your main layer, but not the foreground, as you can see here. All right? So those are the different options, effects, and overlays that you can implement into your Flip Dramatizer projects.